Fediment is a community custody protocol. So it's, and it's a federated community custody protocol. It allows a number of people, we call them guardians, these trusted individuals who are elected by a community to operate on behalf of the community to, to operate the Fediment software. And they're able to run any application that they choose in a federated man manner on behalf of a community. Now, um, there is what the functions that we allow you to run from day one. And the, one of the most important is being able to access the Bitcoin blockchain. So Bitcoin, so a federated Bitcoin equals effectively multi-sig. Being able to access the Lightning Network, but again, with so this federated access to the Lightning Network. So the benefit there is again no single point of trust, but but this group of this community can access the Lightning Network by using these um, guardians to support that. And finally, the technology that gets a lot of conversation and and that started it all was federated eCash, and specifically you're running a federated eCash Mint. Hence the name Feddy Mint. Um, and eCash is a protocol. It's actually the first cryptocurrency. Um, it was invented in 1983 by David Chaum, hence the name Chaumian eCash. Um, it allows you to issue these um, bearer instruments that are backed by some other asset. In 1983, before the internet was widespread and before, well before Bitcoin, the asset was money in a bank, a bit like a uh, Tether or so on. Um, but now with the invention of Bitcoin, the world's hardest money, the mer most, world's most meritocratic money, you can back, you can back eCash by Bitcoin itself. So eCash was a layer, was a scaling solution for Bitcoin before Bitcoin existed. Um, now, um, and even actually is quite interesting, fun fact, even nine days after Bitcoin, the Bitcoin white paper came out um, on the cryptography mailing list, people were already suggesting that to scale Bitcoin, you should use Xiaomi and eCash mints, multiple of them running on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. And then you should have some sort of protocol for settling between these mints. That protocol for setting between the mints was effectively describing Lightning Network and the these Bitcoin, um, these Chamin eCash mints running on top of Bitcoin, effectively describing Feddy Mint. Uh, and it said, in so doing, you could scale to the demands needed if you wanted Bitcoin to be a medium of exchange. If you wanted it just to be a store of value, these are not necessary. But if you want it to be a medium of exchange, um, and we can get into why you will eventually want something to be a medium of exchange, then you need to be able to handle way more transactions than any blockchain can handle, unless you try to go to, you know, gigameg blocks, uh, like as they said in Bitcoin XV or, or some other um, not yet proven approach. So that's, that's Feddy Mint. And then in terms of Feddy, Feddy creates um, two things, the human side and the technological side. On the technological side, we create a community super app, and that's what we've just announced. Um, we've been in alpha, and then our Bravo mode is like beta. Now we're finally um, in our final live launch. So it's now Feddy is, is finally ready. And this is basically taking the best of the freedom technology sphere, so the best money. Bitcoin, the best settlement and payment layer, Lightning, the best community custody platform um, federate with no single point of risk, which at this point in time, we strongly believe is Fediment. Um, but on top of that, we take the best mechanism for federated communication and chat, which based on our analysis is currently Matrix. The best mechanisms for discovery and, um, and decentralized identity, which is Nostra, and so on. And we add all of these into one app, which provides this very simple, clean user experience. And we combine all these, all these freedom technologies into one. On top of that, it's especially based on our experience of the last nearly 18 months, we realized that to really roll these out in the communities that need it the most, you cannot just provide a technology. You need people on the ground. We need our own FedEye order. 
to be there on the ground to support, to locate these communities. And, and on the ground, you can imagine that in each location that we call them FedEye nights, uh, our community nights. So they locate communities. And, and just like in, in analogous um, sci-fi, they will locate communities, they will educate those communities and they will support those communities, defend them and help them to make best advantage and use of these freedom te technologies. They will also help them connect these freedom technologies to the rest of to the physical world. So if they need to figure out how to take their Bitcoin and convert it to local cash and vice versa, they will um, help and suggest ways in which they could they could do this. So they will basically act like this decentralized genius bar. Um, and so when you take these two things together, this decentralized community super app combined that takes the best the current best freedom technologies and merge them into one in this really incredible user experience. And then you take this FedEye order, which is a decentralized genius bar. That is a solution that we, even though it's very early, we've been very excited about what we've seen in terms of adoption. And the final thing that you now know from the announcement is that even though we have built a product, which we have, we believe is, has the potential to be one of the most sophisticated and advanced um, wallet experiences definitely over time um, comparing favorably with other um, commercial wallet offerings we have taken the decision to make the entire Feddy app completely over time it will become completely open source starting with a business source license where um, it's immediately as of today source available and over the coming months it will eventually become fully AGPL open source so that we don't just use the best freedom technologies, the Feddy app itself becomes a freedom technology.